Hi, this is Nanette Hosenfeld with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Monday, August 6, 2018. Looking at fire potential impacts, uh, for today we are not looking at any significant fire weather impacts, um, but as we move further into the week we will see high pressure building into the area that will bring um, near record heat uh, across portions of Nevada, Idaho, um, and Utah Wednesday and Thursday. So with lightning we've had over the past few days, uh, holdovers are likely as we move into this uh, period of high heat and low relative humidity. Over the past 24 hours, there was not too much in the way of precipitation across the area, um, just a light amount across uh, portions of Idaho, and a small bit of lightning across Idaho as well. As far as fire activity, uh, things are quite busy. You can see there are 16 fires across the Great Basin, as well as quite a few other ongoing fires. The observed precipitation maps um, show that it's been quite dry across the northern part of the Great Basin over the past 7 and 14 days. Uh, looking back at even the two-week period, you can see large portions of Idaho and Nevada have had very little, if any, precipitation over the, two week, over the past two weeks. ERCs are on the rise across the area. You can see they are highest across the north, which is not too much of a surprise as this is where conditions have been the driest. However, they are on the rebound across the southeastern part of Utah, um, as you can see some of the ERCs in that area in the 70 to 79th percentile. Looking at that in a little more detail, the image on the bottom right shows the ERC trend graph for southeastern Utah. You can see how those ERCs are inching back up to record values uh, with a lack of precipitation in that area. Also of note is GB8, you can see, is also close to record values, and that is where we've had lightning and are expecting uh, the uh, hot and dry conditions this next week. Satellite this morning uh, shows a high pressure ridge building over the Great Basin, and that's what will be responsible for the uh, heat that we're expecting over the next few days. So for today, you can see quite a bit of dry air in place across the area. Uh, our significant fire potential map uh, has a lot of yellows and browns and a lot of green left on the map uh, with how dry and hot it's been lately. Looking at that surface weather forecast in a little more detail, uh, the image on the left shows the minimum relative humidity forecast for this afternoon. You can see really low single digit values across much of the Great Basin. Uh, the temperature forecast on the right shows temperatures a couple degrees above normal this afternoon across the area. As we move into Tuesday, that dry air continues to spread north with an increasing ridge and we are highlighting uh, western Nevada for hot, uh, dry and unstable conditions uh, beginning Tuesday. Looking at that in a little more detail, you can see the single digit relative humidities across the majority of Nevada and uh, f into Utah. And by Tuesday, we'll start to see those temperatures move um, above normal values. Moving into Wednesday, we continue to see the increase of that ridge overhead. Uh, we're highlighting a larger portion of the area for that hot, dry, and unstable weather um, with concern moving into portions of Idaho on Wednesday. And again, just another look at the surface forecast for Wednesday. You can see those really low relative humidities across a large portion of the area. That's the map on the left. And the map on the right really demonstrates how those temperatures are heating up with temperatures well over 100 degrees across large portions of the area by Wednesday afternoon. So there is quite a bit of concern with the lightning we've seen over the past few days um, with this hot and dry weather that we will see holdovers. Over the next three days, no precipitation is expected across the Great Basin. So we move into Thursday, not too much change as far as the pattern. We continue to see that ridge amplify overhead, uh, leading to an increased area of concern for that hot, dry, um, and unstable weather across uh, much of Utah, Idaho, and Nevada. Then as we move into Friday, uh, models begin to suggest that that ridge will begin to move eastward, uh, leading to uh, the uh, decrease in concern across portions of Nevada, but still very hot, dry, and unstable across much of Idaho and Utah on Friday. Moving into Saturday, uh, looks like things should uh, moderate a little bit with the potential of that uh, system moving into the area. And that continues into Sunday with the potential for some moisture. And uh, this is quite far out, but uh, the potential for some lightning across the area on Sunday. Over the next seven days, uh, there's precipitation possible across the southern part of the area. In the 8 to 14 day period, the Climate Prediction Center is calling for below normal temperatures across the majority of the area, uh, with the potential for above normal precipitation across uh, the southern two thirds of the Great Basin. So that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us. Our information is on the screen, and you can also find us on Twitter. Thanks.